Hi, and welcome back. I'm Dr. Jason Fung. Today, what we're going to talk about is how all calories are different and why that could be affecting your weight loss. So let's get right into it. So we've all heard this before. People tell you, well, calorie is a calorie, right? And it seems so simple, so intuitive. And what they really mean is that the only thing that matters in terms of gaining or losing weight is the amount of calories and not the type of calories. So they say a calorie is a calorie because it sounds so simple and true. Just like a dog is a dog or uh, you know, a cat is a cat or a dollar is a dollar. But really that's not the question that I asked. I never asked anybody, hey, is a calorie a calorie? No. What we really want to know is are all calories equally fattening? That is, the amount of calories is the only thing that matters and not the type of calories. Because remember, foods are composed of three different macronutrients. There's carbohydrates, there's fats, and there's proteins. When we eat them, they all have different effects on our body. But in terms of gaining and losing weight, what the people who say a calorie is a calorie say is that it really only depends on the amount of calories. And this is actually a very recent belief. If you go back to the 1970s or before that, people didn't talk about calories. People didn't even really know what calories were. There's no labels that had calories and so on. And yet there's still very little obesity in North America. Instead, what they talked about were the different foods that we ate. In other words, we talked more about the type of calories as opposed to the amount of calories. So what we really want to ask is, do these make a difference? If you were to ask your grandmother, for example, she would say, well, certain foods are fattening, like cookies and sweets. And if you want to lose weight, you should cut those out. But other foods are not inherently fattening, like broccoli. And she would say, well, nobody really gets eat, uh, fat eating broccoli, uh, right? So therefore, it's not the amount of calories that's important, it's the type of calories. And remember, the different types of calories are going to have different hormonal effects on our body. So what does it come down to? Is a calorie a calorie? When we look at this energy balance equation, everybody comes back to this. That is body fat equals calories in minus calories out. And therefore, that's why people say calories are calorie because the only thing there is calories, right? And the problem with this is that this looks like it's always correct, and it is, but it's much more complex because there's three variables here, and people often say, well, if you simply reduce the calories in and calories out, which they say is exercise, stay stable, then therefore you're, you should lose body fat. But the problem is that that is not strictly true. Because if changing the calories that goes into your mouth changes the number of calories that comes out, then your body fat may stay stable even while the calories in goes up or down. For example, if you look back in history and you look back in the 1900s and look how much Americans were eating, there's several reports. They say they, they estimated that American men were eating about 3,000 to 3,200 calories per day, which seems quite high considering most estimates now are closer to 2,000 calories a day. In the 1950s, when Dr. Ansel Keys did some of his famous starvation studies, uh, he gave the uh, experimental uh, participants only 1,500 calories per day because he thought that was a very low figure and so low that they are actually started to get uh, symptoms of this low calorie intake. They got cold, they couldn't, couldn't uh, concentrate, that kind of thing. However, that 1500 calories is about equal to what we think is a pretty reasonable uh, diet for weight loss today. And that's what they thought was disastrously low. So therefore, when they were eating all of those calories, those 3000, 3500 calories in some cases, they must also have been burning it. So therefore, when you change the calories in, it changes the calories out. And in this case, it's not that calories have all the same effects because the different types of calories are going to have different effects on our bodies because they stimulate different hormones. We can make an analogy. For example, instead of body fat, 
we could say, well, the number of dollars in your bank account equals the money that you put in minus the money you take out. It's really the same thing. However, if you make $100,000 a year and you spend $100,000 a year, you, you, you don't have any money in the bank. So then you say, well, all I have to do is increase the amount of money that comes in. But if making $120,000 makes you spend $120,000, then there's no difference in terms of the money in your bank. At the end of the day, it's the same. And this is the big problem with this whole calories in, calories out, um, sort of calories as a calories thinking, is because what we've learned over the last 50 years is that when you try to reduce those calories in, the calories out reduces along with it. That is, if you started out with 2,000 calories in and 2,000 calories out, what you assume is that when you lower this to 1,500 calories in, that this will stay at 2,000 and therefore you're going to lose body fat. But what we've learned over the last many years is that what happens very quickly is that your body reduces its calories out to 1,500 as well and therefore you no longer continue to lose weight even when you're eating less calories. Then if you decide to go off of your diet and you suddenly raise your calories to 1,700, well, even though you're eating less than before, you're eating more than you're spending and the body fat tends to go up. And this is controlled by our hormones. That is, our metabolic rate is controlled mostly by our hormones and not by the exercise. And that's the big problem with the calories in, calories out model. So the question again, is a calorie a calorie? Well, of course a calorie is a calorie. But remember, that's not the question. The question is, are all calories equally fattening? And the answer to that is no. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And I'll see you later.